Welcome to another episode of Fast Keys Tutorials. With Fast Keys, you can easily insert custom formatted dates and times into your documents, emails, and messages as you're typing. This is a great productivity tool and a time saver. I'm Milo Shapiro, public speaking coach and Fast Keys expert, and in today's video, I'll show you three different ways how to easily add dates and time fields into your phrases. Let's check it out. First, I'll create a text expander like usual and choose the date and time icon. You can see right away that there are some common preset formats ready to be used. The first one is the short time format. This format is defined in your Windows regional settings because some regions use month first while others use date first. For me, it's putting the month first. I'll select that and you'll see a date placeholder field was inserted into my phrase. Let's also include the next one so you can see the longer version. As I mentioned, these two follow your Windows settings. So if you would, for example, switch between English and Spanish language, the format would know to automatically change to the Spanish layout. I can configure the entire format to my liking if I want. Just for fun and to show you, I can select February, and put a space, and then today's date, which is the 15th here, and a comma, and the year. Let's say I wanted a date and a time. That's fine. I'll just add the word at and select a current time. Let's take this nicely formatted one. Easy, right? You can also click more to check all other available formats. I'll name our substitution text with the abbreviation string xdate and a simple description and click OK to save. Let's test that now. I'll go to a document and type the abbreviation and you can see all the formats were expanded as expected. That was easy, right? But there is another even more powerful way to do this. I'll be using the date and time macro, which allows some other options, including the date and time maths. So I'll open my phrase again, and first I'll paste an example template into it, a simple order confirmation. This is the place where I would put the order date. I will select the date and time icon again, but this time I'll choose the first option here, a date and time macro. As always, we need to give the macro a name. I'll call it order date. By the way, you can use macro names later in calculations, conditions, and scripts. More on that later. Here, we can specify a date or time format. Similar to before, I can select one of the presets, but I can also delete this and set the format manually. I'll click on the three dots button to see more options and to select one of the standard formats. If I'm not sure what they mean, as always in fast keys, I can press the F1 button or select the help icon to open a full documentation on the specified topic. For me, I'll select this one for the name of a day, comma, and then the name of the month, and today's day. And you can see there is a preview below to check how it'll look. I'm happy with that, so I'll click OK. Let's have a little more fun. Instead of this generic three business days delivery term, I'd like to insert the actual date of delivery. To do this, I'll again select the date and time macro. I'll name this one delivery date and set the format. I'll go with the same format as the order date, but this time I want to shift the date three days forward. So I'll select this box here and set it to three days. It's a very flexible system. You can adjust the date and time by minutes, hours, days, months, and so on. I want to select business days to not count Saturdays and Sundays. See how the preview was adjusted to reflect the future date? Okay. Now that both date fields are ready, let's go to my document and run it. See, very easy. 
Whenever I run this phrase, it'll display today's date and the date three business days from now. Okay, well I promised to show another way to use dates and times in fast keys, so what if the delivery term is not the same each time? Sometimes it could be three days or four or even five. Is there a way to interactively select the actual delivery date? Of course, piece of cake. I'll go ahead and delete the second macro field. Now, I'll go to User Input Menu and select the Selection Form macro. As the name says, this macro is used to allow the user to select something. I'll call it Delivery Date and go to the Selection Type and select Date Time Control. As you see, as before, I can select the date format down here. I'll go with the same format we used before, day of the week, month, day. All the same options are available. Now the selection macro is inserted into my phrase. Back to the document. X date. What happened now? I got this selection pop-up where I can use left, right, up, down keys to select the date of delivery. Or I can click on the drop-down here to simply select the right date from the calendar. Pretty neat, huh? And with this, we come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Please also check the description below for the links to FastKey's webpage. And to learn more about my speaking coaching, come to publicdynamics.com. Take care, and I'll see you in our next video.